Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm not cooking either from the Elder Scrolls cookbook or the Fallout cookbook, but I'm going to be sharing one of my own personal recipes for pickled hot dogs. They are primarily found down in the southern states, I believe. Don't really remember seeing them above the Mason-Dixon line. Typically, they are found in bars or convenience stores. We'll sometimes sell them. But to get started, we need to make our pickling brine. And what I'm going to start with is four cups of white vinegar. I'm also going to add in just one cup of water. And I've got two cups of hot sauce. I think this is Frank's hot sauce, but you can use any hot sauce that you like. As long as it's hot sauce and not like a wing sauce, that won't work for this. The next thing we're gonna need is two tablespoons of pickling spices. And those are gonna go in. And there are, um, there's like mustard seed, allspice, broken up bay leaves, um, I believe some coriander, and some of them even have clove. I think one of mine in here has just a little bit of clove. Actually, I think I'm going to add I'm going to actually add another tablespoon to this, so three whole tablespoons. I've got half of a tablespoon of mixed peppercorns and one whole tablespoon of red pepper flakes that I'm going to add in. This is going to sit here and simmer for a little bit. I'm going to bring it up to a boil and then let it simmer for probably just about five minutes. It doesn't take very long. I'm not adding any sugar to mine, but you certainly could add anywhere from a fourth of a cup to a half a cup of sugar if you want a sweeter uh, pickling brine. But for this, I don't. I want the spicy. I'm also going to add in just a pinch of kosher salt. I don't want to add too much because the hot dogs have their own salt level in them. And I don't want to make this over salty, but I do want just a little bit. So while this is coming up to heat, I'm going to take you over to my other counter and we'll start getting the jars ready. And one other note, when you are doing this, make sure you're using your ventilation hood if you have one. The, um, the vinegar and the hot sauce can take your breath away if you stand over it or if you get a big whiff of it. So it's good to use a well-ventilated kitchen to do this. All right, guys, give me just one minute and I'll get you moved over. All right, we are over on my other counter and we are going to start assembling our hot dogs. Now, what I'm using today are one large package of Little Smokies. And I've also got um, two three pound or six pounds of just plain regular hot dogs. Um, I find that the cheaper the cut of hot dog that you buy, the better this works. I think the fillers in the cheaper hot dogs soak up the, the spice and the pickling brine much better than like an all beef hot dog. But you can also, you can use those. You can also use kielbasa or bologna or any other pre-cooked meat like salami or something like that. I've never tried it with the salami or summer sausage. I hear it's really good. But, you know, this is what I most generally use when I do this. So, let me move these kind of to the side. I also have one Vidalia onion and one purple onion that I've sliced up. I have several 
jalapenos. I think there's like six or seven jalapenos that I pulled out of my garden that I've just sliced into rings. And then I have 12 cloves of garlic that I've sliced. And I'm going to assemble these in half gallon mason jars. And you want to make sure when you seal these, you seal them with a plastic lid and not the metal rings that come with the jars. So I'm going to start with two of them. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to layer some of my onions in to both jars and some of the garlic. And this one, really, it's all just about assembling all this. And, of course, my jalapenos, which I think I can get them in there without getting them everywhere. <laughs> Maybe. There we go. Let me move these out of my way. All right. So for this one, I'm just going to put in some of the hot dogs. And you just kind of want to keep layering this while I'm doing this. Let me remind you of the community driven playlist that JPEG of Death and I have going on in our channels. If you would like to be a part of that. All you have to do is go out and make a cooking video, whoop, post it to your channel, and then once you've done that, just let either JPEG or I know down in the comment section of our latest cooking videos, or if you are a part of his Discord server, you can let us know over there as well. All right, let's keep, uh, we'll just keep filling this up until it gets up towards the top. You can kind of push them down a little bit to try and fill up any uh, any air pockets or where they don't uh, they get in there sideways. And then I'm going to do the same with this one but I'm just going to put uh, the little smokies in first and then if I have any more room, which I probably will, I'll put the hot dogs on top of these. And it's totally fine to mix these up, which is how I, I generally do it. All right, guys, I have brought you back over to my stove so you can see what I mean by just letting it simmer a little bit. Ooh, you just want to be really careful that you don't breathe the steam in because it will make you sneeze and it will make your lungs hurt. So this has been going for about 10 minutes now. The spices that I put in are starting to become really fragrant. So at this point, I'm just going to turn my heat off and let this start cooling down a little bit before we put it in the jar. So I will bring you guys back when it's time for that. All right, guys, our brine has cooled down and I've already started filling my jars up. So I'm going to keep filling this middle one up or this first one up here. And you want to go all the way until your hot dogs are completely covered with your brine. And that should be about the end of that one. And then I'll just move this over and we can finish filling up this last one. Whoop. There we go actually probably just let this pour in and again you just want to bring this all the way up to the top Ooh, I'm going to spread some of those spices out between the jars because you do want those in there they're going to help flavor the brine as it sits and uh, marinates so there we go And this one, I think I'm going to just going to even out my brine a little bit. 
Make sure you push it down a little and that'll help bring it up over. All right, guys, so here is my six pounds of hot dogs and the two pound package of cocktail wieners that I put in here. The amount of brine that I made was the perfect amount to fill up all three jars and to make sure that they are filled all the way up over top of the hot dogs. These are going to go out in my refrigerator where they're going to sit and soak up all the brine and the seasonings for about two to three weeks before we start enjoying them. The longer you let these sit in your refrigerator, the better they get. They will last up to about five to six months, but in our house they go much faster because they get eaten up fairly quickly. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Remember to check out the Gamers and Geeks playlist as well as my Elder Scrolls and Fallout playlist. And I will leave links down in the description to them. But for now, I've been Valkyrl. Thank you for joining me. And I hope I see you in the next one.